Our next topic is propagation mechanism. It includes first reflection. It is possible for radio waves to be reflected in the same way as light waves. As both light and radio waves are form of electromagnetic waves, they are both subject to the same basic laws and principles. Visual examples of light reflections are everywhere, from specific mirrors to flat reflective surface like glass, polished metals, etc. So too, radio waves can experience reflection. When a radio wave or in fact any electromagnetic wave encounters a change in medium, some or all of it may propagate into the new medium and the reminder is reflected. The part that enters the new medium is called the transmitted wave and the other the reflected wave. The rules that govern the reflection of radio waves are simple and are the same as those that govern light waves. When a reflection occurs, it can be seen that the angle of incidence, theta 1, is the same as the incident rays as for the reflected ray. Additionally, there is normally some loss as a result of absorption or signal passing into the medium. Next is diffraction or shadowing. Electromagnetic waves can be diffracted when they meet a sharp obstacle. As radio waves are form of electromagnetic wave, it means that they can also be diffracted. As radio waves undergo diffraction, it means that a single form of transmitter may be received from a transmitter even though it may be shaded by a large object between them. To understand how this happens, it is necessary to look at Huygens' principle. This states that each point on a spherical wavefront can be considered as a source of a secondary wavefront. Even though there will be a shadow zone immediately behind the obstacle, the signal will diffract around the obstacle and start to fill the void. It is found that diffraction is more pronounced when the obstacle becomes sharper and more like a knife edge. For a radio signal, the definition of the knife edge depends upon the frequency and hence the wavelength of the signal. For low frequency signal, a mountain ridge may provide a sufficient sharp edge. A more rounded hill will not produce such a marked effect. It is also found that low frequency signals diffract more markedly than higher frequency ones. It is for this reason that signals on the long way band are able to provide Coverage even in hilly or mountainous terrain where signals at VHF and higher would not. The effect may also be important for very high frequency signals where items of furniture in the home may have a sufficiently sharp edge to enable diffraction to be seen. This may give slightly better coverage to items like mobile phones or for Wi-Fi systems. Next is scattering. Scattering is when an RF wave encounters an object and scatters into multiple waves. Some examples of common objects that cause scattering include dust, smog, humidity and chain inked fences. If a signal has been scattered, then the integrity and strength of the signal will suffer tremendously. Scattering is more unpredictable than the other issues mentioned in this post. But with proper planning, a solution can be at least be addressed in the setup. Hope you all understood. Meet you in the next topic. If you have any queries, please get in touch with us by typing your comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Do like and subscribe to our videos. So what are you waiting for? Join us for the course and do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Also, if you like our videos, don't forget to hit the like button and share our videos.